The trade in human organs and other forms of human trafficking from the poorest countries in the world is growing every year. Organ Watch, Berkeley University, California, has estimated that 15,000 organs are trafficked every year. The sale of organs from impoverished European countries to the rich and privileged globally is perhaps a subject which is too close for comfort. Nothing demonstrates more clearly the increasing gap between the rich and poor within Europe and her direct neighbours than this booming trade in human misery. Criminal networks are targeting European countries such as Estonia, Bulgaria, Turkey, Georgia, Russia, Romania, Moldova and Ukraine, where people are lured into selling their kidneys for as little as $3,000. Un timp m-am gândit și să fac, nu știam și ce să fie, dar pe urmă m-am gândit și de-am, nu știu și, puteam să mai zic, dar m-am gândit că la moarte, vedeți, nu mă mai duc. Și de, ori de bucurie ca să mi-au <laughs> propus 3.000 dolari și n-am văzut atâta bani în mâna mea, bucurie că mă duc, nu m-am mai gândit nimic. De-am încă n-am ajuns acolo, Aproape de operație, de atunci, mă gândim, și ați și cum ați fi. Recent research reveals a trail in illegal organ trafficking, leading from Moldova to a variety of countries, where kidneys are sold to Israelis, Arabs and Western Europeans. Globally, one million die each year of kidney failure. Only 60,000 receive a kidney transplant. People in rich countries, particularly those with legal systems and religious beliefs that prevent easy access to post-mortem donors, will do almost anything for a kidney. In a year period, one expects in Britain for there to be almost 2,000 operations a year which give somebody a new kidney. Sadly, 400 people will also die on that waiting list waiting for the kidney that they didn't get. An additional 3,000 people will die whilst on dialysis. Throughout Moldova, people lack even basic needs due to widespread unemployment and poverty. Mikhail, who grew up in a typical Moldovan village, was 26 years old when his kidney was removed. He is now 32 years old, living from hand to mouth. Un coleg de clasă, de meu, un frate mai mic, Vitali. M-a auzit că e că au fost în Turcia și dat un rinic și de unul altul m-am întâlnit cu dânsul și mi-a spus că e că și-a făcut și mi-a propus și mie. Și am stat un timp și m-am gândit, dacă nu avem bani, am stat un timp și m-am gândit și pe urmă s-a cotit să plec. One day after the operation, he was taken to the surgeon's private apartment, where he was hidden for a few days. The traffickers collected him and dumped him on a public bus with no painkillers. For 24 hours, his newly operated body was shaken about, causing him terrible pain. The traffickers had not even supplied him with the essential documents to cross the border and return home. So Mikhail had to bribe the border police with $500 from the $3,000 he had received from the traffickers. Without essential all-round pre- and post-medical treatment with rest and avoidance of hard physical work, people like Mikhail often never recover fully from having sold a kidney. I came home, I I was thinking, I'm going to go to the hospital, I'm going to go to the hospital.